you are a mining engineer and you want to find the best spot where to dig a new gold mine in this region. How do you find the best spot, the best possible spot? Of course, digging a mine is very expensive, so you want your mine to be as proficient as possible. You want to find the place where there is the highest gold concentration. Uh, so you can start by sending some prospector teams here and there to find the gold concentration in different spots of this map. single prospection takes uh, uh, a lot of effort. It requires you to dig, to pull out uh, carrots, uh, to uh, send them to laboratories, uh, to have them analyzed. And all of this takes time and takes money. So you have, of course, limited resources and you can only afford nine prospections. Okay. These are nine prospections, and uh, you see I've made uh, balls that are larger where the concentration is uh, found to be higher. And in particular, in this spot we found uh, a high concentration of 70. Should we dig the mine precisely here? No. In fact, if you look at the nearby points, you find that on this side there is a sharp decrease in concentration while in this direction the concentration decreases much more slowly. So probably that concentration of mineral is still increasing at this point, reaches a maximum somewhere here and then decreases to 50 and to 30 on the other side of the map. So, you can bet that a higher concentration will be found if you look at this point here. So maybe here you dig and you find a concentration equal to 100. With few data at your disposal, the best you can do is to build a model of uh, your problem, in this case of uh, uh, mineral distribution and assume that it's not changing very sharply, that its distribution is uh, smooth. If it's low in this point, uh, you can assume that it's not so high around here. The same here, it's high, so you cannot, you don't expect it to decrease sharply from this point. In particular, if you find a region where the concentration is high, you should probably insist on that region. Let's see a short demonstration of the methodology that I was describing before. So, meet our mining prospector. Say a hi to our friends. Hello everybody, I'm really excited to start this new adventure with you. He will run across this uncharted territory, looking for the place with the highest concentration of ore. So black means uh, there is nothing interesting here, white means we should definitely dig a mine here. He will use this vehicle to move on this territory. Let's see how with the help of Lion Solar, we can help our minority prospector to find his goal. You can see the arrangement to make the system work. Our prospector emits a dot of red light, which is uh, uh, detected by a light sensor and uh, reports light intensity to the computer via the USB cable. Two motors, 
here and here allow the system to move on Cartesian coordinates and on the computer we have a very simple program by means of which we can tell the system to move to coordinates and report the result. So when I give the information the system will move on the requested point and the result is reported on the screen. Now Lion Solver make it, makes it very easy to interface with this kind of program. Let's start by connecting Lion Solver to the external program. We just drag it to the workbench after identifying it. Then we need to plan a set of measurements uh, uh, that we want to ask to the external program. So we connect the experiment generator to our function, it generates a table, we can pass the table to our um, prospector. And now Lion Solver will drive the prospector making the nine measurements that we have required. As you can see the system is moving along a grid of three by three points. Now we can look at the points as they have been measured. These are the nine points that have been measured and the color, the red color, means the highest concentration of ore that has been found. Next we want to model the distribution in order to find an even better place. So we build a polynomial fit, a second degree polynomial fit, that estimates the distribution of the ore also outside the set of nine points that have been measured. Now, having that function, we can run a continuous optimizer on it. We just decide to maximize the function that we're looking for and after a short run, we get to a set of optimal points. Last thing we need to do is take the newly generated point and connect it to the original uh, system. Now Lion Solver will drive the system to the best spot it is able to identify. Now you can see that the model was quite accurate because it generated a new point distant from the nine points that had already been found and went to measure it.